What up guys, it's Mike. It's Rowena. This is like the biggest bail number I've ever heard in my life. $35 million. $35 million. Team, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You, you, you have a, let's say you have a kid. Yeah. Okay, let's say you have a kid, one kid. You, you love this kid so much, right? The kid does something wrong and they ask for $35 million bail. Would you pay that? Let's say you could. Would you pay that? Depending on what they did wrong, if it's something that I do not agree with, no. Your kid plotted a murder. No. No. I don't. I mean, it depends. It's like if I believe my kid is innocent, then maybe. But come on. Okay. Let me let me be a little Asian here. Let me be okay. a little Asian here. <laughs> Thirty-five million dollars. That's a lot of money. I mean, I mean, look. I, I think I think if it was me, I wouldn't even want my family to pay. I'd be like, you know what? I'll stay in jail for like a hundred days. Yeah. And no, if it was if it were me, yeah. if I were the girl in this story that we're about to talk about, I wouldn't. I wouldn't right. ask my family to do that for me. So 35, well, the story we're talking about is, is an incredible case out, out of uh, San, Francisco, Cal San Francisco, California. A uh, woman named uh, uh, Tiffany Lee, she's, I think she's a real estate um, tycoon or something. She does a lot of real estate. Families in real estate, right. a and lot of family in Chinese, a yep. lot of business in San Francisco, West Coast. Yep, and then uh, she was living with, uh, she was with this person, uh, which they had kids together, and then she plotted his assassination essentially with her you know new boyfriend and, and another accomplice and another accomplice and then the the father of her children who was killed he his body was found 80 miles, 80 miles. north of yeah. san francisco yeah basically like a like a, a vegas mob hit and buried him out in the desert so she's charged and then they set the bill to 35 million dollars it's not only the 35 million they had to her friends and family had to come up with 70 over 70 million dollars because they used a lot of property if you use property to kind of insure the bail they're going to pay double but it's just amazing how her friends and family are able to come up with basically 70 80 million dollars and, and, and got her out of got her out of jail. So this raised a big question, like we talked about last time, about the you know pricey prisons that 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 actually exists, where rich people can just pay a certain amount and live in a, a very cozy Hilton esque hot, like hotel -like, hotel like prison. So people are now saying, well, that's not that's not fair because yeah. she can just pay it and leave. Because the two other accomplices, because they're normal people yeah. who have normal backgrounds, they have to stay in jail before the trial. Right. And also, they're saying she's a flight risk, which I agree. I totally agree. She's Chinese, so she could potentially just take off and go to China and just. Well, I'm sure she's under like house her. arrest or something. She is. There's like an electronic yeah. monitor. They take. They're taking away her passport. Yeah, but, but but still, I mean, look, like this is something that I feel like the Chinese people can do really well. Is we can we can just get out of town, like. Chinese but people... that's why I think the bail is set so high to to prevent them from actually doing that because 35 million is a lot and about 60 in all of property combined mm -hmm. that's a lot of money for her to just dip but it is possible but no she could do it you know what i would do what? if i if i ever was was uh wanted for a crime last thing i ever would be <laughs> but you know what i would do what i go live in chinatown go live in if chinatown. i can't get out of the country i just yeah. live in chinatown i shave my head i grow a stash i live in chinatown i look like every other you know million other chinese person like, how are they funny? Put on glasses. How are they funny? I like, I, 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 told, I, I totally turn Asian uncle on them. I'd be like, you know, white tank top wearing, put, put on Slim some shorts. Slim down. Yeah, put on some shorts with black socks, wear some flip flops. <laughs> you know, that's, yo, they would never catch me. I would just be like, and then I will just like get in one of those bolts they smuggle in and then just like smuggle back. Because if I ever, I'm just saying, if she ever goes back to China, they'll never find her. No, they'll never find her. Can't. Especially a woman who has money. Yeah. They'll never. How are they gonna find her? Like she's like, yo, I'm gonna go live in a remote village in like Fujian. How are they gonna find her? There's no way. Even if she lives in Beijing, they won't be able to find yeah. her. So that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, like I mean, I feel like I feel like first of all, the story was like 35 million. That's a lot of bail to pay. And personally, I wouldn't pay it. I just kind of stay in prison. But I feel like they made a mistake letting her go because I feel like she is indeed a flight risk. Yeah. And I feel like she's indeed gonna fly. I think she's gonna run. You authorities in California, you better watch her closely because 90% sure she's Wait, gonna Wait, a huge part. The reason why she killed her children, children's yeah. husband is because she was scared he was gonna get custody okay. of the kids. Okay, well that's not never a good reason. That's the reason. Um, and if she's on the run, she probably won't be able to take her kids. I mean, she could try. Yeah. Um, but I'm just saying before this whole story is out because they're saying she could go. To, she's going to prison for the rest of her life basically. If she gets... Yeah, and she most likely will because yeah. I mean the other two, they got two people already in custody. They're gonna roll on her. Yeah. So I'm saying, 
she's gonna run. I'm just saying. I'm saying we'll, we'll follow up on the story with you if she ever does. But I don't know. It's kind of kind of crazy situation. But mm. let us know your thoughts on the story. Let us know. Do you think she's gonna run? And if you were arrested in, in a bail of thirty-five million dollars was set upon you, what, would you pay that? Would you actually pay that, or would you you know just stay in prison, like you know stay in jail for a little longer? <laughs> like, that's thirty-five million. That's a lot of money. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.